Looking ahead, we've got some warm temperatures on the way for this week. Very similar to what we had today. We ended up seeing high temperatures of 80 degrees at the Charlotte Douglas International Airport after waking up to the 40s. We're going to start off in the 40s once again tomorrow, and then the warming trend begins. We do have a couple cold fronts that'll move through. You really won't notice the first one. It'll happen this week. You'd barely even notice the temperature drop that we're expecting with that one. This weekend, that'll be different. I think that we could see a 10 degree, if not a little bit more of a temperature drop behind that front, which I'll talk about here in just a second in terms of what that means for your possible rain chances. But here's an overview of those temperatures right around 80 degrees Tuesday, Wednesday, pretty much Thursday as well. Mid 70s on Friday back to 80 degrees on Saturday, and then there's that second cold front. Much more noticeable in the way of those temperatures, the first of which is off towards the north and western parts of the country at this point. Really not expecting any rainfall from that one, or even the second one. It's going to be very, very limited, if any, and high pressures in control for now. So you can see what that's allowing across the region. This has been the case over the course of the weekend. Last week as well, we've seen a lot of sunshine and a lot of dry conditions, and we're going to stay dry through the rest of the evening. If you have any plans, mid 70s by 6 o'clock, low 60s by by 9 o'clock, mid 50s as we approach midnight, tuning in uh, back at 11 o'clock. I'll likely be showing you guys temperatures in the upper 50s, so a little more mild to start. So here's what this means. Getting the kids out the door tomorrow morning, still a little chilly for the morning commute. We're talking about the upper 40s, but that is going to be very brief. It's going to be another dress and layers day as those temperatures reach the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And notice your morning lows from the upper 40s tomorrow morning. That's going to be short lived around 50 degrees on Wednesday mid 50s by Thursday morning. This will be turning certainly above average here for the rest of the week. And then we get to that second cold front that's going to be moving through this weekend. So if you have any plans and you want to look ahead and just see what we're expecting here, we're expecting a lot of sunshine on Saturday where there's dry and warm conditions. Honestly, temperature wise, very comparable to what we have today. That cold front will move through. I think it's going to bring some passing clouds with it. Maybe a stray shower chance, but the best chance of that will actually be overnight when a lot of us are asleep and that that's if, if we get some of that measurable rainfall. Mid 50s on the way by the morning hours and then around 70 degrees by Sunday afternoon. I do want to give you a brief tropical update. We're not expecting any impacts from any tropical system in the short term forecast, but we do now have that tropical storm Oscar. If you're tuning in for the first time since last week, that is a new development. This is going to be moving north and east towards Bermuda as a tropical storm, likely uh, running parallel there to the east coastline. So here's a look at the hurricane season so far. We had Milton and then Nadine and then now Oscar. So Patty going to be the next name on the list. Here's your seven day forecast. High temperatures again above average running around 80 degrees. So comfortable, if not warm afternoons with nothing but sunshine here the next few days. That second cold front to bring cooler temperatures, some passing clouds and maybe a sprinkle late Saturday night overnight and into Sunday morning. But at this point, Jamie, it's going to be very hard to come by measurable rainfall within the seven day forecast. Yeah, it has been a while since we have seen rain. Rachel, thank you. You can download our WBTV weather app to get the latest data sent straight to your phone. Just aim your camera at the QR code there on your screen. You can also search WBTV in your app store.